Hey guys, today we delve into the anticipated alterations awaiting us in the upcoming seventh season of No Prep Kings. The buzz surrounding season 7's rule adjustments has been incessant, and with the season set to kick off in just a mere two and a half months, the anticipation is palpable. Since the PRI event, speculations have been rife, but it appears that the primary modification pertains to the main engine combination rules. The focal point of contention revolves around the introduction of additional weight to the F4136 Pro Charger, a contentious component that stirred the pot, not at the inception but rather midway through the preceding Season 6. The crux of the matter lies in the perceived advantage enjoyed by those utilizing the 140D1 Pro Charger. These contenders find themselves unable to meet the minimum weight requirement imposed on the 136, leading to a disparity that many argue is unjust. Notable instances, such as 187 Customs' recent races featuring Sean Ellington against Nate Saylor and Giuseppe, spotlight the apparent edge held by the 136 Pro Charger-equipped cars, racing 100 pounds lighter. The visual discrepancy is striking, with the 136 powered vehicles surging ahead from the starting line, leaving the 140S1 Pro Charger toting cars trailing. In an effort to address this inequality, the proposed rule change suggests a 50-pound weight break for the 136 Pro Charger, bringing it more in line with the 140 variant. Interestingly, when comparing this adjustment with other sanctioning bodies, it's evident that the 136 receives only a 50-pound advantage, which raises questions about parity across the board. Despite this, it seems this weight modification is poised to be the sole adjustment for the forthcoming season. Considering the broader landscape, the debate extends to the screw blowers, with discussions leaning toward capping their overdrive at 92%. This aligns them closely with the 140S1 Pro Chargers, paving the way for closely contested races when tuned optimally. However, the 136 Pro Charger maintains an edge over the screw blower at 92% overdrive. The decision to allow them to run at 92% or potentially push the limits to 98% remains uncertain. Season 6 witnessed commendable parity until the introduction of the 136, where the heavier and screw blower equipped cars found themselves playing catch up, having to dial up their power to contend with the 130 SIXS running 100 pounds lighter than the 140 and 75 pounds lighter than the screw at 92% overdrive. In the grand scheme of things, the singular rule adjustment appears fair and is poised to maintain tight competition, especially among nitrous cars, prochargers, and screw blowers. As for the twin turbo cars, the question of how they'll be made competitive remains an enigma. The stage is set, and Season 7 promises to be a thrilling spectacle characterized by heated competition and strategic maneuvering on the asphalt. 